Hello, my name is Caitlin from Rampark National School. Today, fifth class are going to be talking about the, some history from the Cooley Peninsula in North Ca County Loud. The topics we are going to be covering today are the Brown Bull, the Proleek Dolmen, the Long Woman's Grave, the Plane Crash and Carlingford Heritage Sites. I hope you enjoy. Hello, and today we are going to talk about the legend of the Brown Bull of Cooley. Long ago, Queen Maeve and her husband, Alil, ruled over Connacht. One night, Maeve and Alil boasted of their riches. They compared everything that they owned until Alil boasted about his great white bull. Maeve was filled with jealousy, for she had no bull to compare to Alil's, so Maeve sent out a messenger to find a bull in Ireland that could equal the strength of Alil's bull. Not one as good, but one twice as good. It was called the Brown Bull of Cooley, and it belongs to Dyer of Cooley. Maeve was delighted and sent out another messenger to request a loan of the bull for one year. She offered Dyer 50 combs and a large piece of land if he accepted it. Dyer agreed and held a banquet. The uh, banquet Dyer overheard the one of the men sent from the Queen Maeve. Dara was a wise man for giving the bull to Maeve, for it he hadn't. She would have taken it by force. Dara was furious. He shouted, if she wants my bull, she, would, she better come here or take it by force, or she is not getting it any other way. When Mathroth returned to Connacht and told Queen Maeve what had happened, she was raging, and so began the cattle raid of Cooley. As the raid began, a brave warrior called Cúhollin tried to save Ulster, and Queen Maeve attacked, but ended dying in the war during the war. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. Hello. Today we will be talking about the Prolique Dolmen. The Prolique Dolmen is also known as the Prolique Stone. The megalithic Prolique Dolmen, located in the legendary Curly Peninsula, is one of the finest examples in Ireland and is widely photographed and documented. Access to the Prolique Dolmen is through the ground of a hotel and then across the golf course but it is well worth a visit. Nearby is a gallery grave. Portal tombs date from around 3000 BC and were built by Neolithic farming communities. Burials usually cremated were placed into the tomb and often accompanied by flint and stone uh, impl implements, bone, beads and pins and fragments of coarse handmade pottery. Hello, my name is Adam and today Aoife, Ali and I will be telling you about the Long Woman's Grave. Conan O'Hanlon died suddenly on his deathbed. He told his eldest son Con to divide his lands with his younger brother Lorcan. Con replied that he would bring his younger brother to a height and give him all the, the land as far as he could see. The father was happy that all the land would be fairly divided when he had died. When Con, the elder sibling, died, much to their surprise and, and, and disaster of Lorcan, the younger Con brought him to a great lug or hollow high up in the mountain of Aino, where it is impossible to see more than a few yards around the black hollow. He said, as far as you can see, is yours laughing. As you can imagine, Lorcan was from far from uh, Lease, but he also owned a boat, and with, his, with this he started to trade to the east, running some cargoes, and he started making plenty of money from these journeys ahead. One of these trips to Cardiz in Spain, he had too good luck to meet a Spanish grandee and her daughter. He's, he saw the, the ladies when they were sailing in their... Yacht. When they were heard to the shore, the grandee held a banquet in honour of Lorcan. Lorcan was extolled by the ladies and the guests for this bravery, that especially so by his daughter, who was extremely grateful for the rescue. 
bed. Lorcan and the tall Spanish lady seemed enchanted with each other from the beginning. She was seven feet tall, only three inches smaller than Lorcan. He learned from her that her father, father's people were on the royal line of Spain. Her, mother, her mother's Christian name was Cat, Kathleen. <laughs> A name which the daughter also bore. Lorcan boasted about his wealth back home. He said he could stand on a great height and for as far as he could see, the land was his. Kathleen was impressed by his totally best-hearted with her. Lorcan declared his love for her and offered to leave his merchant and his courier, leave behind his... No, and take her and settle down. Hello, my name is Sasha Byrne and today my group and I are going to be talking about the Anne Lachan plane crash. The plane crashed on the mountain Schleifnaglaw, which means Mountain of Stones. Brendan Colley from Alphonsus Road made a statue to mark the spot of the crash. Fifteen people died when it slammed into the boggy ground during the Second World War. This happened on the 16th of March 1942. The Liberator. The Liberator crash on 16th of March 1942 was the second of three fatal incidents in this mountainous area of lead. The other incidents came in the form of a British Hudson bomber in 1941 and an American P-51 Mustang fighter in 1944. The plane had taken off from Egypt and en route to Dorset in the UK. The aircraft had disobeyed orders to return to Egypt due to bad weather over the British Isles. Thank you for listening. I hope you've learned a bit about the Alhoan plane crash. Hello, Emily, Jake and Pierce are going to be talking about some Carlingford heritage sites. Uh, King John's Castle. Carlingford Castle's <laughs> west wing was built in the late 20th century by Hungerland Lord of Meath shortly after the Norman invasion of Ireland. It acquired the name King John's Castle after King John, Lord of Ireland, supposedly stayed there for three days in 1210 during his second expedition. When he invaded Ulster to apprehend Hugh de Lucy, first Earl of Agreed in 1215 at Carlingford. Other accounts associate <laughs> its construction with, with Ralph Pepper in 1204. The Dominic Friary. This range of activity may be related to the art, to the critical position of the areas regards north south movement. Victor Buckley has drawn attention to the possible large late prehistoric enclosure on Farhurst Hill, which commands the passes of the north. Farhurst was to have a long-term signature, as indicated by medieval religious site associated with St. Bridget. Thank you for listening to our podcast. (laughs) 